welcome back to my channel, valuable collectibles and I hope you have a fantastic day, do like, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more videos. Today, I am going to show you a 1992 Malaysia proof coin set. This set consists of 6 coins made from sterling silver. Yes, all 6 pieces are made from 5.925 silver. These coins are not like our daily circulation coins. They are proof coins made for collectors. At the end of 1992, Bank Negara Malaysia issued this proof coin set to their staff and it was not made available for sale to the public. 5,000 sets were minted by Bank Negara's mint. Bank Negara Malaysia invited the public to design the coins for this second series. The competition was won by Lo Yi King. Currently, Malaysia does not have a 1 sen and a 1 ringgit coin in circulation. The 1 sen and 1 ringgit coins have been removed from circulation. It is because of this reason. I enjoy collecting this set knowing that I have a piece of 1 sen and 1 ringgit made from silver and proof finish. This is the second series of Malaysian coins. The second series of coins entered circulation in late 1989 with new design of edges, diameters and composition on both the obverse and reverse. Changes include the depiction of items of Malay culture on the obverse, such as a local Malay board game called Chong Kak on the 10 sen and the Wabulain or Moon Kite on the 50 sen among other things, as well as the inclusion of a hibiscus, the national flower of Malaysia, on the upper half of the reverse. On the one ringgit, there's the Chris, a traditional Malay dagger, which symbolizes authority and power. It is included as one of the main items of Malaysia's royal regalia. Once considered a weapon, it now graces ceremonial occasions and is considered as a work of art. The background design depicts a popular songkit motive. On the 50 cent, there's the kite flying is a popular form of Malaysian pastime during the windy season especially in the east coast. It requires much skill, dexterity and experience to make and to fly a kite. Kites are also decorative items, which sometimes grace the walls of Malaysian homes. On the 20 cent, there's the Tapak Sairi, which is intricately carved as used to store beetle leaves and its accompanying condiments. They're used during auspicious conditions and is a sign of welcome amongst the Malays. On the 10 cent, there's the Chong Kak board is used for traditional indoor games, played by children with marbles in the Malay villages. It is carved out of wood and consists of numerous large holes. Played by two persons with numerous variations of the rules, a Chong Kak game is a popular pastime. The Chong Kak is placed on a traditional home woven mat in most Malay village homes. On the 5 sen, there's the top. Top spinning is an entertaining sport amongst the residents of the east coast of Peninsula Malaysia. It is popular during the period when the rice crop is ripening and is believed to bring a good harvest. Top spinning competitions are a fascinating crowd puller, with perfectly balanced tops trying to outspin each other. On the one sen, there's the Rebin Rabai. This is a gaily painted single headed drum made of thick leather secured by a rattan hoop with thick wooden wedges at the base frame. These are often assembled in groups of five and played during wedding celebrations. The beating of the ribbon rabai is a popular gesture for welcoming guests. What do you think of these coins? Do you like them? Please comment below and I would like to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Do like, subscribe and click the notification bell icon for more videos.